Greetings my friends and welcome to a brand new campaign summary here for our next campaign and that's going to be for the Knights of St. John. It's taken a while here for us to get back to the Knights of St. John but my word things really are really are beginning to take take hold here. As you can see at the behest of the council we are besieging Morocco. Now, there is quite a sizable army here in Morocco but we have sent in a wonderful force here. Absolutely packed to the rafters with artillery which is going to effectively blitz the Moroccans and also we've got three regiments of grenadiers just to make sure we secure that that uh, victory here we've also got line infantry guards we've got plenty of cuirassiers also household cavalry as well and we've also got some fusiliers so the victory will be assured here we will bring Morocco under our control and now as many of the council were arguing once they brought this sort of this to the to the attention here we need to take morocco because it brings us control or part control of the gibraltar straits as you can see here the a vast majority 99 percent of all our trade flows through the gibraltar straits as you can see here 99,000 of worth of gold trade comes through here once you in factor in the spanish trade as well it's over a hundred and ten thousand it's extraordinary the amount of wealth that's flowing in and out of our coffers here. Now, thankfully, Spain is an ally of ours. They may, they may take a dim view of us moving into Morocco. I know it is a Spanish uh, sort of target. However, we need control here, and with this army here, it might just dissuade the Spanish from moving against us. It's a very, very strong army indeed we've got here. We will, of course, build building Morocco up to be a full spec city here it'll be absolute production right to the rafters here we'll have all the best we can get here the money can money can buy release and we'll probably put some walls in here as well just to secure it utterly from any attempt here we've got portugal here as well who are very very powerful it's a smaller single nation but my goodness me they are powerful indeed as you can see here look at that swiss line infantry grenadiers of their own so they really are very very strong look at that my goodness me swiss grenadiers Kaiser light infantry, absolutely fantastic here. Marines, the Spanish themselves are also look at that, absolute what a wonder. Some of these troops here are incredible, but thankfully they're allies of ours. But they are they've got now we've got a tattered flags here, so we've got to be careful that we don't see the Spanish hopefully not folding too soon. Now of course we've got Tunis as well under our control. We've got a very strong army in here as well, which has been guarding Tunis for a long while. We do have a shipyard here. We'd like to try and get up to naval shore facilities eventually. But we can't quite yet get those ships that are really going to tip us the balance in our favour here. In Tunis at least. And of course, we've then got another ally of ours, New Spain. Which we've got, we've got uh, Trip Tripoli, Tripolania. And then a huge ally of ours. A massive ally of ours. The Ottomans. As you can see, they are at the moment just about keeping the Russians at bay here. Which is a good thing to see. However, as you can see looming large on the horizon here is the Dutch. The Dutch have absolutely exploded here, my friends. And they are a, a titan. They are an absolute behemoth in this campaign. I kid you not. I have not ever seen a single nation, a nation with a single region, effectively take over all of Western Europe, mi middle of Europe, Eastern Europe is completely dominated by the Dutch. They've got everything all the way. They've even they're even moved into the, the, the Moscow region proper. I can I can I can actually see as you can see. Look at all these here. All the fighting going on here. I can actually see the Dutch taking Russia as well. That's how powerful they are. I mean, look at the reach. They've taken all of Italy. They've got all everything you can see. Everything you can see is within their grasp. Now, uh, now Sweden. Is an ally of ours as well. I'm not sure. Let's take the diplomacy here of what, because I we know the Dutch are not happy with us at all. They're hostile. Minus 123. So as you can see, their allies are the Ottomans. Thankfully, they got the Ottomans. They're gonna leave the Ottomans alone. Uh, the da Danish. We've got the Swedes, and also the Mughal Empire are allies of theirs. They're at war with Austria and Russia. Now, there's every chance that once they've dealt with Russia, which to be honest with you is not too far off, they've even taken Crimea. They are an absolute powerhouse. I, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen a nation dominate as much as the Dutch have. They've captured everything. And their production and economy is 
breathtaking, to be honest with you. It is extraordinary the amount of power the Dutch have here. As you can see, look at them. Look at this, these forces here. And they're just loitering. These forces are just loitering around doing nothing. That's the power they have at their, hand, at their disposal here. Look at the infrastructure. It's extraordinary. Full settlement fortifications, full army staff college. You know, look what they're able to, to bring in. To look, I mean, look at what they're able to bring in here. Incredible. Full engineer school. And that's in every single... Look at this. Even here, Army Staff College. Every single city is at maximum potential. Their economy is is off the scale. As you can see, look here in the room. Just one army of many. Look at all Look at all this in here. And then this, Italy has seen a massive increase here in, in Dutch forces. Ex an unbelievable amount of forces here they'd be fighting so to be honest with you I think we are going to see the Dutch eventually declare war upon us and I can see happening quite soon look at this even the Netherlands Marines which are really really top-notch fighting forces they really are I think we can pretty much guarantee that the Dutch will eventually attack us even here, now of course the Russia is trying to make some kind of raid here. That's a very powerful Russian fleet there in Le Havre. And that's cut off that trade there. But I mean look at that, it's United Provinces income is just monstrous. They don't really need any external trade. That's how ma massive their economy is. The internal economy of this empire is so vast they don't need anybody else they can effectively just regulate their own economy and have the income from it will just generate enough money to sustain them for many 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 years now of course knowing that they they dislike us this much minus 123 it's they, something probably their war with russia is keeping them at bay from us because of course russia still is vast here but mind you, the map here, it can be deceptive because Moscow takes a huge chunk of that. That's all of this here is Moscow. So that's a big, big chunk of that. Of that all you can see there. Mind you, they do have quite a, you know, heading into the Urals here. But they do have down here as well, Azerbaijan. They do have Persia as well. So that would be sort of real fight here for the Dutch to get down here. But since they've taken Crimea, they can quickly move across the Black Sea here and probably strike to BC, Armenia fast yet so we are at the behest again at the behest of the council really have been no absolute wonder in this campaign the, the the advice has been exceptional this is why we are slowly but surely building up these armies here we know what is coming down the line we know what is coming down the line my friends that's why we've got these armies here ready ready to strike back against the dutch now these armies remember were pivotal in the fighting to capture britain and this is why we are, as you can see here, making sure we've got all every every single city here is uh, is ready to meet them. I mean, look at the army here. Look at this army in London here. This will probably be a strike force eventually. This army is too good to be be um, left to garrison London. We'll probably use another army, perhaps. Maybe not this army. Then no, they're all very. So we'd have to probably build a, a, a garrison army. We'll recruit a, a garrison army purposely for gar garrisoning the, uh, the the London here again in Edinburgh. That's now that's more like that's more of the army I want to build the garrisoning there. Most line inventory, plenty of artillery, plenty of cavalry as well. So this is probably the 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 composition we're looking for in the, in that sort of in that area. Now of course we have been hit. And we are repairing, still replenishing, repairing from the Battle of Britain. And we've also got. This global trading company, but to be honest with you, there's no point upgrading it. There's no connection to the line here. But when we do need, we ha we can't, we cannot at the moment get first-rate ships of our own. We don't have this yet, but even then, we cannot recruit those ships. We don't have the facilities to to build our own first-rate ships. The only way we can get first-rate ships is by getting an admiral so as you can see here these two general gentlemen here are effectively the most powerful ships we can get we the most powerful ships we can get at the fourth rate and the fifth rate that's all we can get we cannot get the top tier and that's where we're going to struggle now of course we're allied with sweden now for some reason sweden has left armies here 
very extraordinarily powerful armies. Look at these armies here. Very, very, just on the outskirts, just on the outskirts here of Scotland. And that does, is concerning now. The, the council has said, man, I keep an eye on what's going on here because these armies will absolutely, like Swedish hunters with the accuracy of 55, pretty exceptional. So we've got to be really careful what's going on here. We, we can hold Edinburgh against these forces, but it would mean probably diverting one of these armies up to aid in Edinburgh. That's something we don't want to do. So we're going to keep a close eye on what's going on there. Again, Britain being the absolute hub here. Again, if the Dutch strike away here, we've got to be careful they don't blockade this port here. If they do it, we are in deep, deep trouble. So we're probably going to start rec begin recruiting more and more ships here. Maybe have two fleets of fourth and fifth rates here to give us as much possible firepower in one place as we possibly can here. We're also here in the subcontinent, just using the subcontinent to really draw that money out. Again, we are defending here because course in Ceylon here we've got the Dutch here as well they will strike from Ceylon absolutely guaranteed and we have been putting down a number of rebellions here in Karnataka here which have we've only just about got under control and that's because we've got an army here again we've had to put down a number of rebellions look at the fighting that's gone on here it's been extraordinary we've also got to upgrade these but we can't at the moment because the clam of reform is pretty high now we do have Mysore under control as well and most of the rest the sort of this western coast is here is under our control which we need to and also Calcutta is under control as you can see mind you those they are mercenaries are not too bad at all and again the internal trade here is pretty good and we've also got the allies here of the Mughal Empire Who themselves have got some good forces. I believe they'll eventually take Armada Naga from the Spanish. As you can see, they're already moving towards that. Bring it back under control. But it's the Dutch that concern me because everybody else is fine with us. But the Dutch are very, very hostile, and that's where we're going to see the war. And I, I think I'd like to try and get some council's advice on what we should do if and when that war comes because it will some of the council saying strike for paris first and also for amsterdam and try and take these two key cities away from them and start to build and get a, a foothold and build from there so you can see look at the income sixteen thousand there just for paris alone and heaven knows how much the amsterdam's income would be what about berlin's income here let's have a quick look 13,000 you can see they don't need any external trade at all I mean if even if these even if most of these cities are averaging 15,000 you imagine that's 30,000 gold is between these two 30,000 gold between Berlin and Paris that's 60,000 probably even 20,000 plus from Amsterdam it's gonna be you're looking at a hundred thousand just for just the group of cities here an income extraordinary And further afield, we've also got our foothold here in the Caribbean. As you can see, we've got some very lucrative trade down here. And also we've managed to get our foothold here in the Windward Islands and the Leeward Islands. Of course, we've got the Dutch here as well. And also inland here in the Cherokee territories, they've taken that as well. We've still got a 13 colonies here we're at peace with. We've got the Mukhart Empire in Canada. We've also got our foothold here in Newfoundland. But I think the struggle against the Dutch is going to be a, just a huge, huge fight for us. And that's a lot. Look at that. 23,000 gold coming just from New Spain itself. So again, my friends, we've got a lot. And we've also got Punda here as well. I think Punda has got quite the vast steam cloth mill here. Yeah high yield plantation there so there really is a huge amount coming in from a lot of these trade lines here so we, our fight with i think with the dutch which will be coming is going to be just a our toughest fight we've ever ever had i think considering the vast size of them we can't strike everywhere at once it's got to be pinpoint accuracy using our resources focusing channeling them into one point 
that's the only way we're going to be able to do it. But my word, it's going to be a, a terrific fight. It really is. But my friends, that is the summary for the next episode. I'd like to try and get your feedback if possible, my friends. Once the uh, campaign proper, which will be sh following after this summary, the campaign proper will start. We will take Morocco. But after that, I'd like to get your feedback, my friends, on what we should do here. The pr you know, to preempt what's going to be coming our way. Because my goodness me, I don't think anything is going to stop the Dutch. They're just steamrolling everything in their path. Absolutely steamrolling everything in their path. Maybe the Russians can hold on here, but look, they're in Bryansk. Just a short distance away from the from the capital itself. And they've also hit these towns here. Novogorod has been hit. They've even hit here. Borovici. Here, Lovat. My goodness me, they've absolutely hammered the Russians. Absolutely hammered them. They've captured it. They've got the Ukraine that they control. Mind you, that is a Russian army there. So the Russians are moving, striking in, but the Russian army must be there as well. But my goodness me, I've never seen I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen a one nation steamroll and everything. We've also got, as you can see here, our rake moving through here just to see what's going on. We want to tr try and capture a bit a better picture of what's going on here to see how much time we've got left before the possible collapse of the Russians. But my friends, I'm going to end this summary here. And you will see me next will be where we are going into the campaign proper. But thank you all for your wonderful support and advice, my friends. And I shall see you soon in the next episode of Knights of St. John. Bye for now. Uh, greetings and welcome to episode 46 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Knights of St. John campaign. This, my friends, who I did last time. The summary, my friends, explains quite a bit what's coming up here. We've, we're going to take Morocco. The fight is going to be a pretty brutal fight, I think, but we are going to absolutely take it to the Ottomans with full vigour, my friends. Believe me. We need to capture Morocco. We need to bring this sort of this one part of the Strait of Gibraltar under our control for, for quite obvious means, because we really do need to, to sort of be able to control the flow because it, our trade is absolutely vital. It flows through here. So look how much trade flows through here of ours. It's vast, absolutely vast. We need to control at least a portion of it just to bring that little bit of control to what we what's coming in and out of our territory per se. But let's take this fight, my friends. Immediately dive into the fight here. As you can see, we're up against a lot of camel nomads. There are no fortifications here around Morocco at all. They've got a lot of camel camel gunners here, a lot of camel cavalry, and they've also got some desert warriors, some Amazons more desert warriors of course they've got barbary pirates as well but they've got no cannon at all but look at this what a force my friends three regiments of grenadiers we've got plenty here fusiliers plenty of cannon lots of cavalry as well grassiers even household cavalry here we've also bring spain is also coming to help spain is also to bring us to Walloon guards of course look at that what a wonder one well, of the absolute apogee one of the pinnacle of fighting forces the Walloon guards let's take the fight my friends let's assault morocco Let's take it. Let us take it. If we can take this, we're slowly, bit by bit, starting to you know, exert our control over many different parts of the world here. These are tactical decisions. The council has once again come forward and provided some wonderful advice. It really has, but we shall dip into that quite soon, my friends. Let's first of all deal with Moroccans here. Let's bring this under our control. Start bringing the city under our control. Starting using the resources of El... Oh, it is absolutely pelting down here. Wow. But as you can see here, we do have... Yeah, look at this town here. This town is going to really hinder us quite badly here. We might just send out a strike force here on the left, on the right flank here, and perhaps just pull back using the guns to our advantage and really more the Moroccans. We should be able to take this fight here, my friends. Let's let's give them a real a, a fine pasting here. Let's put our forces back here so we can put them in proper order. It's an absolute one. We've got a general here. Anyone, any council member would like promotion, of course, it is fully available here. This army is a very, very strong army indeed. As you can see here, we might send the grenadiers out on the flanks here. But the 8th, 9th, and 10th grenadier regiments here, we think we'll send them on the flanks with some cavalry as well. Push cavalry left and right, I think. Fusiliers as well, they've done a 
wonder they are. We can also put some stakes up because we, remember we do have a lot of cavalry coming our way. So I think we best be prepared for that. Carassiers, we put some Carassiers on our left just to counter the camels that are absolutely bound to come in here. And I think also send the Grenadiers out on the right flank. We'll hook around as it were. As you can see there's a lot more open ground here. I know we've got a small sort of hamlet that sort of is attached to this larger village here. But we could probably move around, maybe even strike out here, cut the road here, and then use that to our advantage. Castle cavalry already out on this flank here, that's a wonder. But we're going to send the grenadiers out here. Right hooking out, because we can see our deep deployment zone is overlapping there. So that's going to send this right around here. We can even use the hillock here. And just sort of come down on them real hard here. Let's have a look. The Grenadiers here. Look at that. That is absolutely magnificent. What a sight. Now they are some of our finest troops. We are going to send the cavalry out ahead as well. Just going to flank them out here. Thus. Unless we pull this ready to pack out the way here. And then put the cavalry around into this sort of gap here. So they can take front and center they can scout forward now let's set our defenses up here we definitely want to use the fusilier's ability to lay stakes and also we are not going to forget to a limber what the blaze is going on here thank you gentlemen what's going on there i think we'll set these <clears throat> into their relevant groups just to give us an extra fire support by control as you can see 24 pounds look at that that's an absolute brute. General, well established here. We're just sitting back a little bit further here. And now let's set the fusiliers. There's a few first. We'll have the 78th Regiment here, right in the vanguard here. Now we know the light infantry. But they should still be enough here. We won't toggle light infantry here. We'll allow them to take the, the forward position. Um, I think we'll just set, unless we put them, oh, we'll have one regiment there. We shall have the foot guards here. Because they can square up as well. We'll have 126 here. Gentlemen, please. Let's have some decorum. Yep. Now, on the flanks, we'll have the 64th. Remember, just guarding our flanks here because we've got plenty of cavalry coming in here. A huge amount. A plethora. And 78th. Not the 78th, they've already been. 63rd, I beg your pardon. Just here, look at that. Just edge on the edge of this village here. We're going to set the stakes here. As you can see, we really have got a one. Oh, wait a minute. We've got these gentlemen as well. We might just set them back in reserve and. What the blaze is going on here? Why are you not part of the overall... This is in gentlemen. That, I see. That's how it's going to be. That's fair enough. That's more like it. Now, now we can set ourselves fair and ready to move. Right. Group, everyone's grouped up nicely here. I think we'll have... I think we'll send the... 125th out on this flank here. I should really strike with a proper pincer movement here. I know it doesn't have the same strength as the right flank, but still, we've got to put pressure, as much pressure as we possibly can upon them. Let's begin. We've also got the Spanish coming in, remember. There they are behind. It's a beautiful sight. Let's get around them. Where the Spanish? There's the Spanish. Oh, look at that! Spanish allies coming in. Oh, what a beautiful sight! <laughs> Looks like we're going to be taking the brunt of the fight here. But let's just set ourselves ready here. Stakes, gentlemen. Stakes. Steady 
lads. Steady. We're going to Spanish allies. Here they are. They're going to regroup you. They're regrouping up. Oh, that's a joy. That is a joy to see with the relieving guards. Uh, Regiments you will see anywhere, believe me. Squad. <laughs> You're up against. No, not a chance, sir. Not a chance. Into the Barbary Pirates, no. Into the Camel Nomads, gentlemen. Into the Camel Nomads. Shot will shot. Oh, it's a, it's a blood bath. Look at that, you come the Spanish as well. They've already joined in, sir. Oh, what a what a wonder to be fighting with these your allies. You've got to make sure the Spanish hold it. Hold that square, hold that square. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, look at this. We're clearing this flank. Beautiful. Yeah. One to get into the fight. Absolutely butchered. Because the Spanish helped us here, we've got to help Spain as well. If anything comes their way, we're going to help Spain. They have. Oh. Ah, the 40, 47, 47th is gone. What a joy that was. Look at that, we've got plenty of. Oh, that's a joy, that is a wonder to see. Completely nothing destroyed, my friends. What a wonder. Stop this Any casualties now from our own. Yes! Absolutely obliterated them. There's nothing left of them. And with Spanish help as well. We're going to, we're going to stand by the Spanish. We're going to look at that. We lost 688. We lost all of They've got nothing left at all. Look at that. Grandier guards. They did a wonder. Look at that flank. 20, look at the 24 pounders. 163 kills. That's a joy to see. Preparate yes, la battaglia. Of course. There they are. There's the, the unit that came, or the, the army that came to help us there. 
We will stand by the Spanish. They've helped us a huge amount there. But they are suffering a bit here, I think. It looks like they got they got quite a bit of income coming in here, but they're, they're suffering in they're suffering here. Look at that, they've got tattered flags here, so they're obviously not able to keep their armies up to full pelt at the moment. Yes. Which is we'll repair and replenish all of this, bring it under control. Oh, look at that, they haven't, even got, they haven't even got cobbled roads. Wow. I think we're also going to start spending some money as per the council's instructions. We're going to spend some money on our naval forces. Now, we've got a good naval force here, as you can see. Sort of a mishmash of different ships. Unfortunately, we can't recruit any more Admiral's flagships. We can't get first rate ships, no matter what we get here, no matter what technology we have. We cannot get any at all. Now, we can get. Oh, actually, we've maxed out a third rates as well. We can't. Can we get any more? We can't get any more fifth rates either. So, as you can imagine, we're going to have to build a lot of. Sh we're going to have to get a lot of fourth rate ship of the lines here. I think we have to move some of these to different ports to protect ourselves. We've got we've got another fleet here, which we're trying to build. We're trying to build up as many fleets as we can of the smaller ships to do what we can. I've got. We would spend the money on that there, but however. There's no direct link into Greenwich. But here in Newcastle, we are upgrading this to a Ford Global Trading Company. But I am a little bit concerned about <clears throat> why Sweden is doing this. Why are they deploying this caliber of army outside our shores here when they could be attacking, if I'm not mistaken, and they're not at war with them at all. Who are they at war with? They're at war with Bavaria. That's a little bit unusual here. So they're going to only walk with Bavaria. But why are they parking their ships here? I hope they don't stab us in the back. Because that would be an absolute... That would be an abomination. It really would. And an act of cowardice. But we must prepare for every eventuality. Now you see here, we are preparing ourselves here for what's to come. We've got two very strong armies here. Now, there is a chance, there is a chance, as you might, many of you see my friends in the summary, on the summary of the previous, of this, what's happening in this campaign, the Dutch are absolutely a titan. I mean, look at it. Everything is orange. Even down to the Crimea, I wouldn't surprise if Moscow doesn't fall very soon. And that would mean they control effectively all, well, a good chunk of the world is under Dutch control, particularly the primary parts of the world. I knew that they've dipped themselves into, dipped their toes in, into the New world as well. But look at that. They even control a, a good chunk here, a good swathe of North America as well, and into the Caribbean. So as you can imagine, they are really powerful. But if you notice, wherever we are, the Dutch are, the New World, Europe, of course, but also in the subcontinent. They've got Ceylon down here, and we are, of course, have a, a wonderful, a wonderful expanse here of the, of the Indian con continent ourselves, subcontinent here ourselves. Luckily, we do have some very, very good armies and a full depth of defence. So if they do attack us, we do have the allies here, our allies here with the... But they wouldn't... I don't think our, the Mughal Empire would join us anyway. So we would effectively be by ourselves also, but still, that's a good defensive army here if we are attacked. I think it's a question of not if, but when we are attacked. Now, the Ottoman Empire is allied with ourselves. I, I, I'm not sure... No, they're not, they're not at war with the Ottoman Empire. They're actually trading partners with them. Yeah, the trading partners with the Ottoman Empire. That's good. The allies, actually, the allies of the Ottoman Empire. And their allies of Sweden. Oh, I think I can see what's happening here. I think I can see what's possibly happening here. It could be the Dutch are using the Swedes as a proxy. So, effectively, they would be attacking us on the behest, the behalf of the Dutch. Now, that would be an absolute... Oh, what a stab in the back that would be. But we have the forces to respond here. We are not going to roll over and die here. And if that was the case, we would launch a full-scale invasion of the Scandinavian holdings here. So we would, in fact, we'd attack Denmark, Norway, and Sweden all in one fell swoop. We would, have, we would then have this northern sphere and our influence here. We would jab down into sort of 
these northern territories here of the Dutch, we would not, and I repeat my friends, not take that lying down. The Dutch would be in, for, the, the Swedes would be in for a real fight, and so would the Dutch by de facto. If that's the case, now I know we've got Spain on our side. Spain at war with, who are they at war with? They're not, they don't have, no, they don't have Spain at all, is there, is there any income? I wish Spain would take Portugal in some ways, because that would at least boost their profits. Mind you, so like Spain can take care of itself at the moment anyway, at least. And you Spain down here. We've got Tripoli here, which is well guarded. But I think it might be better if we did one day get fortifications down here, Tunis here, because that would be a brutal fight down here. It really would. But it's a good this is a good calibre of army as well that would we've got no guns if you notice. So that would put us on the back foot there, but my goodness me, the Dutch are just incredibly strong. Oh my goodness me, this is a strong force here in Paris. Oh, they've got... Is that Marines? Yes. Netherlands Marines. <clears throat> Mind you, the, the Russians have hit back here pretty hard. Right, let's get... Let's start increasing our naval forces here. Although we're not going to have the finest ships, we're going to have plenty of fleets. Which means a lot of our fleets will have to be taking one of theirs on at a time. So it might take two two of our fleets to destroy one of the Dutch. But I think that's all we can do at the moment. We are moving along quite nicely here. As a food, we can't get any additional ships here at all. As you can see, Naval Hospital won't give us anything, only that. War Galleon. No, we can't get anything else. So, oh, can we get Heavy Frigate though? Could get heavy frigate. We might get a few heavy frigates. That might just suit our for twenty-four pounders there. That'd be nice. Got plenty of income coming from the new world as well. From along here, we've got Dan Danes up here as well. They still got a. a I still got some kind of footprint in the world here, but let's end the turn here, my friends. Let's see what happens, what comes our way. Let's end the turn here. Okay. Let's speed things up here. Now, Portugal is making some kind of. Now, what are you like? I wouldn't be surprised they don't play, declare war on us sooner rather than later, the Dutch. That's a, that's a stupendous amount of forces they've got there. It really is. We're just keeping an eye on what they're doing. Oh, what's Spain doing here? Oh. Are they good? What's an empire? Russia, what will Russia do? They respond. Oh, look at that. I think they might have pushed even further in here. I mean, what can Russia do? They're moving, obviously, moving troops probably into the Moscow region. But the Dutch are so powerful. My goodness me, look at this sheer expanse here. here for Russia. Because Moscow is still under 
their control for the moment at least. But I just, have they, did they think they've just moved into here as well? Are they just taking this region as well? Russia doing oh oh they've got it wow they're what is Sweden gonna do don't do it Sweden don't do it no they're not so for some reason they're leaving three full stacks of armies against our Scottish coast. That's a, that's unusual. Look at the empire. Will they move against Spain? I'm not sure. Yeah, looks like they're going to move against Spain eventually. There it is, there it is. Oh, they've taken it. They've retaken it from Spain. Wow. Permanent Bavaria, Afghanistan. No, that's it. Wow. Oh, oh no. The king is dead. Giovanni Baptista the first. Don't happy at all there. Neither. No. Trade coming in here, particularly with the new Spain, particularly the Ottoman. Look how much trade with the Ottoman Empire, particularly the spice. Look at the spice price 55 gold. And we've got a huge look at the most how much 3135 57 pounds of spice, 52 for the Mughal Empire. Okay, why is that? Why is that? Why is Britain? Ah. Prisoners of foreign occupation, of course, and also the clamour for reform is huge. Wow. Even if we exempt this from tax, it would still be a minus. No, we're not going to do that. There's food shortages as well, but I think the army here will eventually be under control. Um, okay, okay, okay. I think we'll get... don't think there'd be any linkage here because we've already got a shipyard down here. I wonder if a trade port would be any good for us here. Perhaps a local fishery here as well. But would a trade port be better for us so it would link off here? I'm not sure. We'll try. We'll try a trading port. We'll see if that'll help. It may not. So we'll position here the army. That's absolutely fine. Eventually we'll leave this army and we shall put our own recruits into here. Drill school and get grenadiers here. I think we get. It, I think we will get. This year we prepare ourselves for what's to come. We've got forty-three thousand. Wow. Rebellioning. What the place there? What? How? Why do we keep getting rebellions in England? Why is that? Io sire. Siamo pronti. Right. Minus eight now, if we put that, we just keep getting rebellions. Giovanni Battista, that's excellent, okay. Britain really does not want to be under control of anybody else, my goodness me. They really don't like that at all. We've got a huge amount of ink coming in here. Right, let's repair these units here. We should move them down here. We'll move them just here outside of Oxford. And we're going to start putting together this army group here. We've got an army group here. 
Signore, vostra maestà. Here we have the rifleman. In attesa di ordini. Signore. Go right from here. Sì, mio sire. Signore. Vostra maestà. Jimmy can come to here. That's our army is nice to get. I think we need more, some more, one more cannon in here. We've got lances as well. That's a wonder. 24 pounder here. Pronti, this aglio. army is fine here, so we'll have this army to here. That's an army group there. Truppe just in case, avanti. just in case. And I will definitely want Vostra this one to maestà. force back here. The dragoons, I think we'll use the dragoons in here, to be honest with you. I think we'll take some cavalry, the cuirassiers out of here. Move them into here. Il and we'll the dragoons, which, are, which the council has recommended, will be far better for suppressing indeed, for suppressing the population. They do have the facility, the ability here. Policing bonus. The, gar the, the council has on a number of occasions recommended we move more dragoons in because they do and are able to suppress that quite aggressively here. As you can see, it's already brought it down quite substantially here. We need to crack down. But we've just got to get this under control. It really is a menace. This camera for reform. They don't like what we're doing here, but that's just too bad. We're just going to... Gonna knuckle down here. I think we'll put this army Avanti here. Per il paese mm, we're gonna start building another army around it here. We've got some good riflemen. Now, let's get Io some. Sire. Let's get some cannon in this army as well. I think that'll be the main procurement at the moment. And with twenty-four pounders. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, that's why. Because we don't have the ability to get the 24 pounders yet here. So wait for that to arrive. We won't miss the we won't miss any we'll get some more cavalry, I think, for this. Signore! For the gentleman here. Yeah, I think another two carassier. Or maybe a lancer. Give us a little bit of punch, a bit of poke. Maybe a yeah. I think we'll get some more Ooh, garrison guards. Oh, look at that. Policing bonus. I think we'll get some of these gentlemen as well for in, for London. Edinburgh. Oh, look at that. Perfect. More 24 pounds. We'll send them down here as well to be, uh, to be built. We are putting together two army groups here. Because you may not be familiar, my friends. Um, an army group consists of three armies. So this would be one army group, a second army group here. We're looking for to build at least three army groups, because I think if we can, if when the war comes with with the Dutch, um, it's going to require a substantial amount of investment for ourselves to do this to break them. I think we'll also begin. Look out, got a global training coming here. I think we'll also start putting some more. Can't get anything here yet. We're waiting to get naval shore facilities and get dockyard. Again, we're going to increase our our shipbuilding capacity here. When we get some heavy frigates eventually, that'd be quite nice. But we're not going to. We're going to make sure we're fully covered here. I see. That's a very powerful fleet. Actually, we might send one of these. I think we're sending the Brilliant here to this fleet here to give it a little bit of firepower. Also, we've got a oh, look at that, that's excellent. Also, I think it might be much beneficial if we did get some more sloops. Can we get any more sloops? No, we can't. We got the maximum amount. That's absolutely fine. Another fourth rate here as well. Okay, that's fine. We just gotta make do with what we've got here. I'm hoping the Ottoman Empire can stay intact because they are our biggest trading partner. Look at that. My goodness me, that's extraordinary. Oh look at that, 24 pounders. 
We've got the 64 pounder guns there. They're the one the 64 pounders, but. There it is. Look at that. 64 pounder. It's an absolute brute. Now, we're just going to continue building here slowly but steadily. Have we got anything else we can look to improve? We've got the global trading company almost here and also here, so that should shoot up these here. Substantially, we should have it here as well soon, indeed. And perhaps here as well, I believe. Yes. And here as well. Yeah, all of these are going to come on stream very, very quickly. And also we've got the Bahamas. Oh, look at that. We haven't here for some reason. Why have we not done that? That's my fault. And oh, that's, that's also going to come on stream quite quickly as well here from Jamaica. Louisiana here and here. The Dutch have got this here and they've also got Savannah here in Georgia. 13 colonies still okay here. We've Luckily the Mughal Empire is still very very strong here indeed. We've also got this here. Oh yes. We're upgrading that as well. So all of a sudden all of these streams are going to come on. If we have to we'll use this force as well to strike the Dutch in the in the Caribbean. We will strike at Punda and uh, Santo Domingo as well if we need be. Right, let's focus here, my friends. As long as Britain doesn't keep giving us the grief we are sub subjected to at the moment here, the problems here with this. They don't like us at all, do they? The tax rate at the moment. It's not actually, it's quite low. It's almost, uh, tax is almost zero. I know the Moroc, they're not going to like us here in Morocco. Oh, wait a minute, we've almost missed that there. I don't think so, sir. 4,000 on that, in, indeed. And here. Oh, and here as well. We almost missed that. That was almost lackadaisical of me. Very lackadaisical. Got a shipyard here. Oh. And there, we've got to squeeze every every penny we can out of these. Every coin, every gold coin. Right. Now, for some reason, Spain has pulled back here. Right, let's end the turn. Let's see what my friends. Our rake is just moving. We just want to find out what the Dutch have got. And <laughs> they've got a lot. Mind you, the Amsterdam is quite neglected there. I am surprised by that. Just got that feeling my bones like declare war on us sooner rather than later. We didn't check how they were doing in, in Russia. So we'll check that soon. But I wouldn't be surprised if they don't take some massive part of Russia soon. So let's keep my eye on the map down here. Because it'll suddenly turn orange. Sending more forces to the east by the looks of it. And just outside Paris as well. It's going to be a brutal fight. My goodness me. Spain. We hope can get their 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 income to a sustainable level. That would be excellent. Ottoman Empire, a real staunch ally of ours and a good trade partner. We're actually an exceptional trade partner. Russia, how will they fare? So something's up here with Russia at least. We're not much sure what they're up to. They haven't really struck back against the Dutch at all. It's going to be a terrific fight. A 
terrific fight. Hang on. Is that why the why the Spanish are, are hurting so badly? Because this port is on fire here. And they haven't repaired it. Well, that would be a that would be a huge problem there if that was the case. <clears throat> Because I'd imagine a, a huge swathe of their income from the New World is going to come from Cuba because it is does have a, a, a series of exceptional natural resources. We can only hope that Russia does get his act together and at least offers some resistance to the Dutch just to keep them on their toes as it were because otherwise we're gonna f we're gonna feel a full force of the Dutch eventually and they will come for us I just got that feeling in my bones they're hostile towards us anyway and it's probably Russia the only thing that's keeping them tied down as it were keeping them off our backs we've got to be prepared here that's what we're building those three army groups in preparation for what's to come and also increasing our naval presence as well because you can bet your bottom dollar the Dutch have probably got ex extraordinary fleets available. Ours are only very, very poor fleets in terms of the, qu the caliber we're able to put in. But if we put enough fleets together against one of their fleets, we probably would succeed in sort of overwhelming them by sheer numbers alone. Which is something we'd have to do, but I'm not sure what the Russians are doing here. It's taking them a fair old chunk of time here to decide what they want to do. Still concerned what Sweden are doing as well because you know, we've got Sweden coming up next here, as you can see. But that is concerning what they intend to do here, Sweden. Russia really is taking its time here. There's a lot going on here. I think probably because they're being absolutely squeezed hard here by their mortal em empire and en enemies and it I cannot believe how much of a titan the Dutch have become it's just extraordinary to see the sheer scale of their empire considering they started from one region one single region has become probably the, the greatest empire I think I've ever seen in any campaign and that's no exaggeration my friends I, I've seen a number of empires sort of explode other blocks and then sort of when they're confronted by maybe two, one or two large other empires, they soon crumble. Um, they usually push right back to their starting position and they've got nothing left or they, they're utterly destroyed. But the Dutch on the other hand, are a completely different ballgame on this one. They really have just been extraordinary. Everything they've done has worked. Every operation they've carried out has worked. The, every, every sort of region they've aimed at has been taken and fallen and held. And no, the, the Eastern Front is known for its fierce fighting, but it hasn't put them off. I'll be honest, if Russia's going to take this long to sort itself out, then we can perhaps hope they may fall to aid our ability. Oh, here we go. Looks like they just yeah they're moving singular units. That's why it's taking so long. See, they're sending singular units like this, and if they've got hundreds and hundreds of them, which I've no doubt they probably have, then it's probably going to take a long time for them to shift every single unit, single units per every time. Look how close now. This is on fire. This is on fire. The farm's on fire. This like this factory's on fire. Dutch moving out now into the either eye of Sweden now. What will Sweden do? They haven't done anything yet. They're just they're just sort of sitting there waiting for something to happen. Excuse the squeaking my friends, that's my chair. Mokal Empire. Ah, don't raid the trade line, Mokals. Don't please your allies, don't raid it. And Afghanistan. Ah, oh, excellent. Look at the strike again. That's okay if they wish to if they wish to strike. That's absolutely fine. Doesn't mean we're going to give them any leeway at all. Believe me. Oh, 
Oof, minus 12. Wow. Minus 10, so we're not going to accept it from tax. Out of cash here. I think we'll get a dockyard here, I think. That's more like it. I think we'll build another fleet here. And this fleet here is coming together as well, so I think we'll send another. I've got an admiral here as well. We might have to mix it up a little bit. But I'm waiting to get heavy frigates. That's what I'd like to try and get. So we'll just direct our sextant here. But I'd like to try and get down to dry dock. We need carronades as well here. To get carronades, we need improved group shot. So we might just direct Oxford to move into <coughs> this here. I think we'll go down this route here, I think. Take four turns, I'll take eleven. And we've got citizenship here. Ouch. That's gonna hurt us a lot there, but recruitment costs are gonna fall. We've got everything here. We need to percussion shell would be quite nice, but it's not a priority. We've got to get our naval uh, Proposition up here, also oh, we're not really focusing anything out here apart from power loom. Which would give us a steam powered cloth mill, but we do need to get this for wealth of wealth of nations will give us what? How do we got wealth of nations? We've got wealth of nations anyway. So that's absolutely fine there. That's a lot of, lot of ships in there. Oh, 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 look at that. That's a huge explosion there. In in that there, my goodness me. All those trilogal trade companies all in one go. Look at that. Wow, what's our income now? 40,000. Look at the trade income, almost 100,000. It's effectively paying for the army upkeep in its entirety plus some of the naval upkeep as well and the tax is going pretty 56,000 that's not too bad at all not too bad at all here but we've just got to keep things under control here minus seven here that's that's going to slowly fall back into the line here and also here as well eventually they will come to understand yeah, no we mean them no harm sir Signore, mio sire, sì, avanti, in marcia! Wait a minute, heavy cavalry, so we want the Carassiers. The place is going on there. I vostri ordini, maestà. Well, we want the Carassiers, so I'm afraid we disbanded here. I know that it might not go down to it, but I always want Carassia. They're going to be the principal Senior heavy German down here. Signore, they can go into this army here. Siamo pronti. Uomini in attesa, signore. Ruppe, avanti. That's more like it. That's more like it, sir. Oh, would you look at that? Wow. Sweden. Oh, look at Sweden now. They've taken Bavaria as well. It looks like there's a growing alliance between these two here. Now we've got to keep our eyes peeled. But Sweden has declared war as well. Wow, the plot thickens. Looks like they might be going for Finland here. But Oh, wow. Didn't see that coming. Looks like, for some reason, Sweden is expanding its territories inside what is now... Dutch Europe, that's unusual to say the least. What's going on here? That's a powerful force there. Let's just search a little bit deeper here and see what's going on. Aha! 
very, very strong indeed. Got to keep keep searching here. It's Westburg. I beg your pardon. And what's the status of Wittenberg? Oh, Denmark hostile with us. That's fine. Wittenberg. They've got no allies at all. So they're by themselves. I wonder if they'd be able to trade. I doubt it very much. Not indeed, sir. That's fine. Austria are friendly now. I wonder if some trade with them would. No, it's fine. Uh, Sweden. We've got, we've got a trade with Sweden. I don't know why, though. Hmm. That's a, what, what about the 13 colonies? I doubt they will do the same either. No, indeed. Let's just try with the Dutch. Just to keep my foot back for a bit. Would they be happy with that? Uh, oh, are you, wow. I think I'd do that just to try and just to try and give us a little bit of breathing space between us. So I will. I will agree to that. So it's hostile with us at the moment, but it's, it's still hostile. We have got some trade with them though. So when our trade jumps a little bit here, but it's just more to keep us get keep on side if we possibly can. Sweden's got a huge amount going in here, but where's the trade link with with the, with? So it's coming out here. And going in there, I. I said, I don't quite understand. Oh, no. I'm not sure the logic of that there, but that's fine. I think we are just ticking away here quite nicely. I think we'll increase our inventory units here for another army. And we're also. I've right, got them. We another, have another garrison. We want to bring in London now, control as quickly as possible. But, my friends, I think we're going to end this particular episode here. We have done a wonderful job here in taking Morocco. That's going to be a huge boon to us in the future. It really, really is. We're trying to get the drill school up and also the ordnance factory here. Getting all of the... Look at that bit. That's, that's been hit there by someone. But it's been still carrying on building, which is absolutely fine. They really don't like us here at all. Minus 12. Wow. Again, I'd like to try and get some... Dragoons in here, possibly. Oh, there they are. I guess some dragoons in here just help quell the rebellion going on here. And tr see if we can bring them to control. Spain loitering here for some reason. <clears throat> but again, I'd like to try, you know, try to increase. I'd try to increase our ship presence here, our, our fleet here. Maybe sending another fleet in as well to protect the homeland here because if this goes, we're in deep, deep trouble. And you can bet your bottom dollar the Dutch will absolutely hit us hard. Let's see what they've got down here in terms of ships, if any. Nothing at all. Let's see what they've got over in Vienna here. The Ottomans, what have the Ottomans got? They haven't got the same either. Not really very much. They've got the Nizam here. We'll send them along here, see what they've got. I haven't seen any. any Anything of consequence in terms of the Dutch fleets just yet. Still very, very strong. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it, my friends. It's been more of a, a consider, you know, we've been sort of consolidating our position here, trying to get our armies up to full spec here, trying to move everything in the right direction. If, if the Dutch decide to attack us, and there's a big if, I, and I, I must, have, I wouldn't be surprised they don't work against, they don't go against Wurttemberg soon. I know they Wurttemberg haven't got any enemies per se, but that doesn't mean the Dutch won't, don't want to link up with the Swedes here and bring all this into their control. Unless Sweden, of course, takes it, and that's a, that's a possibility. But still, we are going to absolutely be prepared for whatever's to come here. And also in the New World, we'll do the same as well, where we'll start preparing. But I should have increased that a fair old chunk there. 800 there. 275 over there. 800 here. Yeah, 1,000 there, and 1,112 here. What's coming out of this line here? 3,200 coming from these group of islands here, which is not too bad at all. And then here is 3,550 3, here. Look at that, 18,000 from New Spain. My goodness me. That's extraordinary. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. My apologies for the lateness of this episode again, my friends. And... 
I'm going to try and get this out a little bit quicker if I possibly can, but things have been incredibly busy here. They really have, especially behind the scenes, work-wise, at least my friends, with other things going on as well. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, please keep your comments in here and your strategies, your tactics, your plans coming in, my friends. They've been absolutely valuable in shaping this campaign and all others. And as always, my friends, please be safe. Whatever you're doing, please be safe, especially in these times. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Better times are ahead of us, but who knows? But anyway, my friends, until next time, bye for now.